The Go MRI Man. Spread the knowledge. Motivate the people. Yo, what's up? It's MRI Man coming back to you once again. Thanks for tuning in. It's March 19th, 2021. I want to welcome all the OG subscribers, all you new subscribers. If you don't know already, I make videos on radiology, healthcare, motivation, education, how to better yourself. So if you haven't already, subscribe. Why not? I answer all your questions. Um, I'm going to help you get through whatever in school. Um, yeah, so yeah, let's get into it. Today is about how to prepare for clinicals. That can be radiology, you know, it can be nursing. This is kind of like a universal thing, okay? But me, I've been, if you don't know, I've been an MRI tech going on four years. Prior to that, I was a phlebotomist for five years, so I've been in healthcare for a while, okay? And I also, right now, currently, I work alongside um, technologists that have been doing it for about 20 years. And I gather all their knowledge because they're trainers. I also do some training myself and I just talk to them, ask questions. So this is kind of how I prepared for this. And I have a list all on my phone and we're going to get into it right now because, you know, I always get straight to business. Okay, so the first thing um, is that you want to be on time and you want to know where the site is at. Go to the site beforehand and kind of check it out see what the vibe is like is it in a busy city is there parking um and how long does it take you to get there you know how long is it going to take you to get there in the morning you know so it's like you can go on a saturday and there's no traffic but if you go on a monday morning it's like you know 30 40 minutes so you gotta really just wake up early have a good breakfast breakfast take your kids to school work out do what you got to do so um, next thing is research the place online. Okay. For instance, what if, if you're working at like a sports clinic, um, or a place that specializes in like abdominal stuff, prostates, breasts, it's like, you should know that anam- anatomy very well and how to plan it and how to set it up. Um, and you'll, it'll kind of give you an idea what the patients are like. Okay. So yeah, be in uniform. Make sure you don't have any excessive items on you, like electronics or just, you know, random stuff. Don't bring all this stuff to, to the clinicals. Only bring what you need. And by what you need is something like a notebook, pen, pencils. Like this is the this is my actual book that I had in uh, clinicals. And I just have a bunch of notes in there. And I actually have pictures, drawings, and just bunch of notes man organized with little tabs it's great i can do a video on that if you guys are interested and uh i have this little mri um planning book which was cool i like this book i'll put a link to that if you're doing mri and then of course i got a couple books that i always brought with me um ct mri pathology so kind of shows you what the pathology looks like on mri and ct uh, which is very helpful you know you want to you want to know what you're looking at you want to learn about what you're doing okay um so yeah okay let's keep going um have some questions prepared for your instructor okay your trainer you're in school and mistakes gonna happen and you're gonna forget things don't think you know it all and if you're one of those people where you do think you know it all just kind of ask yourself why we're doing this why are we doing this study why are we doing this scan you know, why are we running these sequences? And if you don't know, just ask. Ask your instructor. You're paying for this. You're paying for this education. Get the most out of it. And also, you want to stay engaged, stay busy. Don't talk to other techs when it's downtime and just like goof around and be like, oh, it's slow. Oh, it's kicked back. You're going to you're gonna set yourself up and you're just going to be that lazy guy not doing anything. So um, look at your patient's history um for your up and coming scans so you can prepare go through the note, go through the chart notes do all that um if you're going into mri check out our screening video sc- mri safety screening form video that we did very great video um check that out um so yeah school is more than just like grades and there's one thing if you're really good at passing tests and doing all this stuff but honestly after that, it's like, it's all about patient care, how you treat these patients. Um, you know, it's, it's a lot of, it's a lot of that. So 
don't be too down on yourself if you're not doing getting straight A's or if maybe you're maybe you're like a C plus student or something, you know. Don't feel bad because that doesn't mean you're going to be a bad tech. Okay? I know A plus students that they struggled, you know, dealing with patients and they struggled with just scanning and setting up patients. So don't be stuck on that, you know. Uh, you know, oh, this guy's doing better than me and they're getting A's. Don't worry too much about that. Just be a hard worker. Keep showing up because you're going to have a lot of bad days. Everyone does in uh, clinicals. Um, let's see. So don't be so like caught up in like, oh, when are they going to sign me off on this? When are they going to when are they going to pass me on my my lumbar spines, my brains? I'm already good at it. Don't be all caught up in that. Just keep get confident. Just keep going. Get better. And they'll sign you off when they feel you're ready. OK. And if you're working at different clinical sites or maybe you switch to another clinical site, which I did. I worked at a place. Um, I worked at two places. So you go to another place. They may scan things a little bit different. They have different protocols and stuff like that. So don't go over there and say, well, at, at the place on the east side, we scan like this. Oh, man, you're going to drive the instructors crazy. So don't do that. Kind of just ask them, you know, how do you do things here? You know, I'm used to doing it like this. How do you do it here? And just do it their way. Nobody wants to hear you complain all day saying, oh, we do it like this and on the east side and blah, 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 blah. No one, no one wants to hear that. Um, but yeah, these are some of my tips. I wish that I had someone to tell me these things. I really didn't know. I knew the basic things like, oh, bring a notebook and this and that, but nah, nobody really told me like all the things I just told you guys. Um, uh, and I would say don't go in there like acting like you know everything. That's like one of the things that is just so annoying the guy training you probably has been doing it for like 10 years 15 years don't go in there acting like you know everything trying to impress them just be a hard worker um don't come in there with a bunch of jokes either don't be mr jokester and trying to crack jokes with them all you know because this is especially the first day you don't know them yet you don't know their their personality you don't know if they'll like the joke like that at work you don't just be careful what you say don't talk about your personal life so much. Don't say, oh, I came in. I, oh, I was partying yesterday, doing this and that. No, just keep it professional. Um, definitely show up on time. You got to be on time and ready to go. Don't show up late. Um, keep a consistent schedule um, if you can. If you know you can't do Thursdays or you got to leave early Mondays or just be consistent. Um, don't be and let them know beforehand. Um, don't just say, Oh, I got to leave in the middle of the day. It's like 12 and it's like super busy because you do end up becoming a part of their team, um, uh, in clinicals, like, cause there was a point where they kind of like, there were, when I did clinicals, they were like depending on me and yeah. So don't just leave in the middle of the day. It's really busy. They may need you. And, um, the other tech, uh, text training, you won't like that. Uh, that's pretty much it for my, this is part one. We'll probably do another part. Okay. Um, thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Leave your comments below what videos you want me to make. Um, that's it. MRI man. I'm out. Peace.